This video is an introductory video on how to remove, rebuild, and reinstall a marine engine. This engine just so happens to be a uh, 4.3 GL Volvo Penta. It's actually a General Motors Vortec V6 engine, commonly found in General Motors uh, trucks up to about 2008. Um, this video is actually being done at the end of the project because I wanted to discuss a few things, kind of ground rules for how I uh, produce videos. Um, I believe you found my video or you're looking at my videos because you want information. You want to learn how to do this. You need to know some tips, tricks, and uh, secrets of the trade on how to do this. Um, if I were to do videos showing uh, me turning wrenches and fast forward to music, I really don't think you'd get a whole lot out of that, so you won't find that in my videos. Um, if you find my videos boring and uh, kind of slow, that's because I'm trying to cover all the bases and teach you something. So with that being said, um, if you uh, don't like my videos, please don't dislike them just because of that, because I warned you ahead of time. Um, the second thing is, um, if you bring me a boat to uh, rebuild or rebuild the engine, please bring it intact as, met as best you can. Uh, the more it's intact, just like you see here, the easier it is for me to rebuild. If it's not intact, I have to chase down parts, I have to figure out how it came apart, uh, what washers and bolts are missing, that kind of thing. So. Um, at the end of this video, you'll see some pictures of this boat as it was brought to me, and you'll see uh, the mess I had to kind of deal with, and uh, of course I have enough experience because I was able to get this thing back together. But uh, like I say, it'll save you money and save me time if you bring it to me, um, if you bring the boat to me, um, pretty as much put together and intact as much as possible. So for example, I'll show you this, this console, this is what it looks like now. I vacuumed out the boat. I vacuumed out this boat for the customer to get all the crud out of it. Um, still stains on the carpet, but um, I just wanted you to just let you know that it's much easier to rebuild it when all the parts are there, and uh, so I don't have to hunt them down. And also, I can see what's what's there. I always do videos before I take things apart, so I'll have a record of what was there uh, for both my sake and the customers. Um, as far as this boat. Um, I did a few things beyond rebuilding. I replaced these two circuit breakers right there. I had to replace this starter relay right there. Um, the customer asked me to take care of that for him. Um, as you see in some of the other videos, the, this engine was brought to me. The heads were off of it. This this piece here was just laying over on the side. Fuel pump was laying down on the side. But uh, I figured it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm about to start it and uh, let you hear it running, and we'll see how. It, uh, See what you think. Okay, as I was saying, um, I'm going to start the motor and uh, let's see where that goes. I've already got the. By the way, I've got water muffs on the on the outboard, and uh, they're flowing water into the outboard right now. So don't ever start it without water flowing to it. So you can help start it when it's cold. I don't want to, I think I want to check and see if I had any uh, water leaks. I don't see any. I replaced the uh, seal in the water pump last night. I did not see any water leaks anymore, so that's fixed. water coming out of the uh, back of the boat so it lets me know it's getting cooling water. It's running and the customer's going to be, be here in about two hours to pick it up. So hope you enjoy this series of videos and uh, let me know if you have any questions. But like I said, if you don't like the pace of my videos or you think it's uh, too slow, I'm sorry. It's just a uh, I think the intent of the videos is clear to uh, teach you how to do something and it's not really for your for entertainment. Uh, I don't want to waste anybody's time. I 
think your time's valuable, just so is mine, and I'm not going to waste time putting music in your videos. Thanks for watching.